Good evening, everybody. It's Sunday, July 31st, 2022. This is April Davis PI. I know I haven't been here in a while, but little Alfie over here, I will show you Alfie. Say hi, Alfie. Say hi to your people. He's had some uh, very terrible stomach issues still with his intestinal disease. I didn't think he was going to make it through last week. He had another flare and he was really, really sick for about eight days. But today we have some positive news to announce. This is a temporary setup. This is actually a borrowed X pen from my favorite rescue group called Bunny Love. They're in NoHo, California, in case anybody ever wants to check them out. But if you look in here, there's a baby girl. Well, she's not exactly a baby, she's five months. And uh, she's just in a temporary setup right now. She came from the Mar Vista Horde in Los Angeles, California, and she was getting ready to be euthanized at a Los Angeles County or Los Angeles City uh, animal shelter. And uh, well, today, I decided that her life was worth saving. And she doesn't know me yet. She doesn't know her name. I believe she is going to be Amelia Kinsley or Amelia Kinsley Bunny. Now, Kinsley is in um, honor of my former bunny, a blue Kinsley. We are honoring him by giving this little one his middle name. But, uh, Welcome to my little family, Amelia Kinsley Davis, Amelia Kinsley Bunny. She is 4.2 pounds. Her probable date of birth or possible date of birth is around February 27th, 2022. She's been in a shelter, I guess, since the end of May. Her paperwork is still outside in my car. Uh, she apparently had hours or days left. She was known as bunny number eight. There were eight that were on the red list that were getting ready to be euthanized. And I've heard as of 510 this evening that five of them have been saved by foster, by a local rescue, not the same rescue that I'm affiliated with completely separate organization. I don't really know much about them, but I did see their post. Five have been uh, rescued per foster, I believe, and one being this one, bunny number eight, has been adopted by me. I know she's very hard to see, but um, like I said, she doesn't know that this is her home yet. She's never had a home. She was in the Mar Vista Horde for about three months of her life and then in the shelter for at least two months of her life. She has been spayed, she's been vaccinated, and she's already been microchipped. So that should save me a ton of money. Although I have to say today has been a very costly day. <laughs> she needs a lot of things. Um, she will not be caged. She will be a free roam bunny. And um, I'm waiting for a new totally different setup. She's going to have a rectangular shaped pen. She's going to have her own bunny rug. She has a temporary kitty tent. She has this little tunnel here that is from a Blue Kensley. She's got an old cat litter pen that was never used for a litter box. And this little cardboard setup, this was uh, just donated by Timothy at Bunny Love today. I don't think she's aware that she has a water bowl yet as she was used to a water bottle at the shelter. She does have some uh, Oxbow bunny pellets for baby and youth rabbits. She's a little bit too young for the adult pellets. Once she gets a little older, she will be on adult pellets. Her pellets will be measured, but right now she's still young enough where she can have an unlimited amount. Um, surprisingly, she has already used her toilet to urinate. 
which I was really happy to see that because, you know, she's never had a home. But the volunteer at the animal shelter said she was potty trained already. So we'll see. I see some strays <laughs> on the floor over there, but she has voluntarily jumped into her toilet. Oh, there she goes right now, multiple times. Um, Alfie is very, very chill with her. He's super chill with her. He keeps waiting for her to come out. Every time she sees me or she sees a neighbor pop their head in the door, she wants to run and hide in her hide or in a blues tunnel. Um, her tent is more of a playground for her. She keeps um, going in there and, and trying to pull the, the Sherpa lining out of the bottom as she's doing right now. She just loves this tent. <laughs> I'm surprised that she's so playful because um, she basically rode home in a cardboard box. I forgot the carrier at home today. I ran out so fast to save her life that I forgot to bring a blues carrier with me to carry her home. So I had to carry her in this little porta box from the shelter. She's been to Petco. She's been to Bunny Love Rescue. And then she's come home. Uh, she has eaten a little bit of hay. Uh, I don't think she's eaten the pellets or the oat groats yet, but it's going to take her quite a while just to chill out, relax. You know, she has to de-stress. Um, she's never had a mom. She's never had an owner. She's either been in the hoard situation which is just horrible. I don't even want to go into that. It's so disgusting, but you can read about it online. Just look up Mar Vista Horde. It's just, it's criminal what's happened there. And uh, she was given a place for safety in the shelter, but there were a lot of barking dogs nearby. So she was very, very nervous. Apparently two of her uh, housemates have been, uh, at least one of them, has been designated for foster today. Like I said, there was eight, and by the end of today at 510, only one was adopted, and that's her. And uh, five have been claimed. I know one was being picked up while I was there, and more were being picked up next Wednesday. This is Alfie. He just wants to see her so bad. He misses a Blue Kinsley, as we do immensely. You know, when we had a Blue, we had him when he was just a baby, so he was very cuddly right away, but this bunny is already five months. Um, she is larger than a blue was as a full grown bunny. She is already four pounds, two ounces. And um, don't know her exact breed other than, you know, she's mixed American short hair. I don't think she's Dutch. I don't know if she has any Netherland dwarf in her. Uh, a woman at the shelter thought that she might be mixed with um, something called a New Zealand bunny because of the large size of her ears. Uh, it was discovered at the bunny rescue that she has a little bite out of one of those ears. Apparently she got bit by a housemate in the shelter, but it was definitely the fact that she could go home today. She was already ready to go. I didn't have to leave her there for another miserable day, but it was those ears. It was just something about those ears that just had me sold right away. I was looking for maybe a tan or a brown or a beige bunny, but when I saw her and she was ready and I saw those ears, my heart melted. So um, we've had a long day. We're all exhausted, dehydrated, hungry, tired. <laughs> There's so much that needed to be done today that wasn't done because I just, I had to put everything off in my life today. Oh, there's the water. Oh gosh, I she just took her first lick. Oh, I want her to learn that she has a water bowl or a dish rather than a water bottle that she had at the shelter because over her lifetime, it'll be much healthier for her to have a water dish rather than a bottle. So I'm hoping that she's smart 
most bunnies are very intelligent and she will figure it out. The fact that she's even letting me film this and she's not like hiding in the tent or the hide or the tunnel is absolutely friggin amazing right now because earlier every time she saw me she just ran i i so badly want to hold her and cuddle her and kiss her and bring her to my bedroom but she's just way too young for that right now she's just not acclimated enough she her heart was just beating so fast i didn't know if she was going to survive the car ride home but she did hopefully she's healthy pray everybody that she's healthy I'm going to link my uh, my uh, mailing address in the description of the video. So if anybody wants to send her donations for her expenses, send her letters, mail, anything, uh, I'm sure she will love getting mail just as much as Alfie does. Um, eventually she is going to have professional photos. She just missed the weekend photo shoot that was summer beach photos uh, done by Bunny Love Rescue. Um, she was still in the shelter at that time and not mine. So I missed that, I think about a week ago. It was either this Saturday or last Saturday, but they're going to have uh, a Halloween professional photo shoot set up for Halloween. Oh, she is drinking finally. Oh, thank goodness. I was so afraid she wouldn't learn this bottle but eventually she will have some of her own youtube videos besides this one and she will have some stickers in the future she only has one photograph and it's not a great photo but i wanted to have her first photograph the day that she got here just to document the size of those ears uh, once again her name is amelia kinsley davis also known as amelia Kinsley Bunny. And as of July 31st, 2022, she is legally mine. And hopefully we will be together until death do us part. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Shoot me some comments. Subscribe. Share. About 97% of my viewership is unsubscribed. If we could ever get this channel monetized, the money would go all to uh, the care and medical bills of my pets. So uh, please do that if you haven't already subscribed. I will talk to you soon, hopefully.